In drawing uh, portraits, there are a number of ingredients that I keep in mind, and I'd like to uh, illustrate in this demonstration some of the considerations that can make observing your model uh, much more explanatory. Now, to begin with, in doing portraits, I use as my point of reference the expectation that the face might be divided into three equal lengths. And I deal with the lengths of the portrait first. And those lengths are the distance from the highest place on one's forehead, where the hairline begins, down to the top of the eyebrows as one length. From the top of the eyebrows to the bottom of the nose as a second length. From the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin as a, as a third length. And my point of reference is that those three lengths might be equal thirds. Now, again, those lengths are the highest place on the forehead, down to the top of the eyebrows, the top of the eyebrows to the bottom of the nose, the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin. Those are natural dividing lines that divide everyone's face. And that again is the highest place on the forehead to the tops of the eyebrows, the tops of the eyebrows to the bottom of the nose, the bottom of the nose to the bottom of the chin. My expectation is the face might be divided into three equal lengths. I then look at the model to see if the model's face conforms to my expectations, are those three areas of length on the model equal thirds? And most importantly, if not, in what way do they differ? Which of those segments is shorter? Which of those segments may be longer? Now, as I look at Wendy, from the point of view of finding equal lengths on those three areas, even a quick glance tells me that the distance from the highest place on her forehead to the top of her eyebrows is not as long as is the distance from the eyebrow to the bottom of the nose. When I look at the space from the bottom of the nose to the chin, compare it to the bottom of the nose to the eyebrow, those two distances seem to me to be about the same. So if I were going to do a portrait of Wendy, it would be done this fa in this fashion. I'd make a mark where I want the top of the forehead, a mark where I want the bottom of the chin, lightly divide this into equal thirds, and then I would adjust these three proportions. The way of adjusting it would be to erase the line of the eyebrows, erase the line of the nose, and to move the eyebrows up to here. Within this space, this now corresponds to the length of her forehead. If I now take the distance from the eyebrow to the bottom of the nose and divide that in half, these two lengths are again equal. So I now have the basic proportions of Wendy's face.